it says eight persons a c e f g l m and p have different sim cards uh, which are docomo airtel and bsnl so look at it there are only three variants here right docomo airtel and bsnl then there are at least two persons and at most three persons who have the same sim so there should be minimum two persons having the same sim and maximum three persons right at most is maximum at least is minimum here so minimum two and maximum three persons who have got the same sim okay they have recharged their sim with different amounts which are among 20 30 and 40 rupees right 20 rupees or 30 rupees or 40 rupees again look at the next point no two persons who have the same sim recharge with the same amount this point is very very important no two persons who have the same sim recharge with the same amount like for example let's say a has got docomo c also has got docomo now both of them cannot recharge with 20 rupees or 30 rupees or 40 rupees the recharge amounts have to be different you are getting it both the sim card and the amount cannot be same for two different persons okay either sim cards have to be same or the amount has to be same and the next it says at least two persons and at most three persons recharge with the same amount so you know similar to the previous point at least two persons and at most three persons have the same sim here again it says at least two persons and at most three persons have recharged with the same amount are you getting it so two persons minimum two persons have to recharge with 20 30 and 40 each and maximum there can be three persons with these amounts now look at the clues here p recharge with rupees 40 and has bsnl sim and so on so i think uh, what we should do first is list down the persons right who are the persons a c e f g l m and p right these are the eight persons one two three four five six seven eight right now let's take the sim card on one side and the amount recharge amount on the other side right keep a few points in mind there are only three variants of sim cards right docomo airtel and what's the other one bsnl and amounts are like 20 or 30 or 40 right minimum two and maximum three in both the cases right minimum two and maximum three now let's look at the first point uh, p recharged with rupees 40 and has bsnl sim so p here has recharged with how much rupees 40 and has got which sim bsnl sim right f and p have the same sim f and p have the same sim so we know that p has got bsnl so f also will have bsnl right f and p have got the same sim but f did not recharge with rupees 20 f did not recharge with 20 now understand this point which we had discussed no two persons who have the same sim recharge with the same amount now f and p have got the same sim p has recharged with 40 so can f recharge with 40 no f cannot recharge with 40 40 is ruled out it is also given that f did not recharge with 20 so out of the three options available for f 40 is not appli applicable because p has recharged with 40 the point clearly mentions that f did not recharge with 20 so the only choice f has is 30 so we can say f has recharged with 30 rupees all right now f and l recharge with the same amount f and l recharge with the same amount so straight f recharge with 30 l also has recharged with 30 rupees now one point indirectly that you need to understand here is l will not have bsnl sim l will either have airtel or docomo why is it so already with 30 rupees there is a bsnl sim pairing so another 30 rupees cannot have the same bsnl pair you're getting it cannot make a pair with bsnl so f and l recharge with the same amount now the persons with docomo sim did not recharge with rupees 30 so the persons who have got docomo sim did not recharge with rupees 30 now this is an interesting point see what are the choices for l we have already discussed that l cannot have bsnl sim why is it so because l has got a recharge done worth 30 f also has got a recharge done with 30 and he has bsnl so f will not have bsnl f will not have bsnl we also know that the persons who have got docomo sim did not recharge with 30 so can you give docomo to l no because if you give docomo to l docomo's recharge was with 30 but the point says docomo sims were not recharged with 30 so l cannot have docomo l cannot have bsnl so docomo and bsnl are ruled out what is left atl so l will have atl right so indirectly it has been given that l uses an atl sim and he is of course recharged with 30 rupees these this point may be useful again the persons with docomo sim uh, did not recharge with 30 may be useful in uh, future as well right we have not filled all the gaps yet anyway go go next go to the next point g and e recharge with the same amount g and e recharge with the same amount now what can this amount be look at this one one point that you need to understand is g and e recharge with the same amount now we have no clarity about i mean we have no clue what is g's amount or e's amount right 
neither of these two are given to us none of these two are given to us but the point is can g and e both take 30 no g and e both cannot take 30 why is it so see if you give 30 to e g should also take 30 but in that way what happens e f g l all four will have 30 rupees recharge is done but we know that there can be maximum three persons right at most three persons who have got the same amount of recharge done. so clearly e cannot have a recharge of 30 and so is the case with g can they both take 40 yes both of them can take 40 because only only one person with 40 recharge has come so far so both e and g also can take 40 so 40 40 40 340 can be there but 430s cannot be there all right so at least one point that we know is e and g will either have both 20 or both 40 let's let's go and see if there's any other point given to us so g and e recharge the same amount g and m have the same sim g and m g and m have the same sim which is not the same sim of l okay so g and e their amounts are same whatever amount comes for e same amount would come for g but next point says that g and m have got the same sim but again the problem is we have no clue about what sim does g use or what some sim does m use you're getting it so g and m have got the same sim now which are which which are which sims are possible can both of them take bsnl no again the same argument if you give both g and m the bsnl sim there will be four persons with GSNL, uh, BSNL, right? 1, 2, 3 and 4. F, G, M and P. But four persons cannot have BSNL. Maximum three. So BSNL is ruled out for G and BSNL is ruled out for M as well. Uh, both of them can have ATL. Both of them can have Docomo, right? Both can have ATL and both can have Docomo. Now go to the next point. It said G and M have the same SIM, which is not the same SIM of L. They have got the same SIM, but this SIM is not similar to that of L. What is L using? L is using Airtel. L uses what's in? Airtel. Now we know that G and M will not use Airtel because G and M are using the same SIM which is not similar to L. So G and M cannot take uh, Airtel. So Airtel also does not come here. So if Airtel and BSNL both are ruled out, the only possibility is Docomo. So I can say that G has got Docomo, M also has got Docomo. Right? M also has got Docomo. And we know that Again, like I said earlier, the persons with Docomo SIM did not recharge with 30. So G anyway did not recharge with 30. M also cannot recharge with 30. Because M has got a Docomo SIM, we know that Docomo persons do not recharge with 30. Okay. So indirectly, we now know the SIMs of G and M. So we have got two BSNLs, two Docomos and only one ATL. Three more are left. A, C, E. And in terms of amounts, we have got two 30s and one 40. Let's move to the next point. A and C recharge with the same amount. A and C recharge with the same amount, but not with rupees 40. So A and C have recharged with the same amount. So both can be 30, both can be 20, both can be 40. But next immediately it says not with rupees 40. So A and C did not recharge with 40. What are the possibilities? Both can be 20s, both can be 30s. Both can be 20s and both can be 30s. But can both of them take 30 again? No. 40 anyway is ruled out as per the given point. But can they take 30? Both of them? No. Because if A and C both take 30, how many 30s do we get? 1, 2, 3 and 4. You know that maximum there can be 3 30s. So 30 also is ruled out for A and C. So if 40 and 30 are ruled out, the only possibility they have is 20. So A and C both have got a recharge done worth rupees 20. All right. You're getting it? Yeah. Now, now I think uh, we can close about G and E also. See earlier it was given that G and E, G and E recharge with the same amount. Remember this point, G and E recharge with the same amount. We know that G and E both cannot take 30. Why? There are already two 30s. Now we can also say that both G and E cannot take 20. Why? There are already two 20s here. If G and E are also given 20, then there will be four 20s together. But four 20s are not possible. So 20 also is ruled out for G and E. If 20 and 30 are ruled out, the only possibility is 40. You are getting it? So we have got 20, 20. 30, 30, 40, 40, 40. And understand, now that there are three 40s, E has got 40, G has got 40, and P has got 40, it gets eliminated. 40 is not there as a choice anymore. Because maximum there can be three 40s. We have already got three 40s there. So now the remaining guys will either take 20 or 30. So look at M now. M should either take 20 or 30. But for some reason, we had marked here that M cannot take 30. Now what was that reason? We don't know. That is the reason I always, I mean, that is the point that I always, uh, you know, ensure that we note down these things what cannot come here so that it's easier for us to fill the gaps later on 
So because of all these markings that we have done, right? 30 cannot come for M. It is now very easy for us to decide now. 40 is anywhere ruled out. 30 cannot come. So the only choice is 20. So with this, the amounts are done, right? We have got three 20s. We have got three 40s and two 30s. Okay. Now look at the SIM cards now. C and E have different SIMs. C and E have different SIMs. Now I think we need to fill in three SIMs. C and E have different SIMs. Okay, look at this. Uh, one important point to be observed is along with 40, we have got a Docomo. Along with 40, we have got a BSNL. So this 40 cannot take BSNL or Docomo. See, we, I, I told you the most important point here is this. No two persons who have the same SIM recharge with the same amount. Right, already 40 Docomo, 40 BSNL has come. So this 40 should go with ATL. This 40 has to go with ATL. Alright, so we've got two ATLs, two BSNLs and two Docomos. Two more are left. Uh, yeah, next what did it say? Last point says C and E have different SIMs. C and E have different SIMs. So if C and E have different SIMs, look at this. If C and E have different SIMs, C cannot take ATL. Because E has already taken ATL, C cannot take ATL. So, ATL is ruled out for C. C can take either Docomo or BSNL. C can take Docomo or BSNL. But with rupees 20, look at M. With rupees 20, we have already got a Docomo. Docomo and 20 are already there. So, can this take 20? Uh, can this take Docomo? No. C cannot take Docomo. You are getting it? Docomo 20 is there. So, this cannot be Docomo. We already know that C and E have got different sims. So, if E has got ATL, C cannot have ATL. So, D and A are ruled out. What is only uh, left now? BSNL. So C has got BSNL. And see, with this, we have already got three BSNLs. One, two, and three. So BSNL is closed. Now A will either take Docomo or ATL. But three twenties, right? So very easy to decide. Docomo 20 is over. BSNL 20 is also over. So what is left out? ATL 20. You, you know that two persons cannot have the same SIM and same amount. So ATL 20 is done. BSNL 20 is done. And Docomo 20 is done. So I think with this, we are done we don't even have to do the second reading right by the time we reach the last point we have filled all the gaps so in that order if you see a c e f g l m p the sim cards are atel bsnl atel bsnl docomo atel docomo bsnl we have not violated any of the conditions minimum two everywhere and maximum three similarly in terms of amounts in the same sequence we have 20 20 40 30 40 30 20 40 minimum two 20s two 30s two 40s and maximum three of any of these three okay so this is the final solution